When did your narcissist love bomb you? You see a lot of relationships, the narcissist love bombs at the very beginning. It's how they reel you in. It's how they show you that they have a lot of money, that they are really invested in you, and that they really care by giving you these lavish gifts, these great trips, these expensive things. And it starts to suck you in. It starts to pull you in of like, wow, like if they're willing to do this for me, they must really be invested. They must really be uh, in love with me. They must really be connected in the relationship. Love bombing happens a lot at the beginning of the relationship, but I think a lot of times we don't talk about sometimes the love bombing that happens in the relationship. Now you might be thinking like, whoa, Ben, like no one's ever love bombing in the relationship. It was at the beginning and then after that it was cut, like no more, okay? Totally get that. I understand that and it happens a lot. But I'm also talking to the people that they were in the relationship and they caught their narcissist cheating. Uh, they got called out on how they were lying. Uh, they got held accountable for something that they did. They got held accountable for abuse or for kicking the dog, whatever it might be. They got held accountable for something, okay? And when that something happens, it produces a response in the narcissist that has to get away from that moment because that moment is filled with accountability, with honesty, and that all boils down to vulnerability. That is anti-narcissist. That is not what the narcissist wants to deal with, wants to feel, wants to think, so they have to get away from it as quick as possible. One of the easiest ways to get away from that is to love bomb, okay? So this is why after a huge fight, you come home and maybe there's a box of chocolates. Maybe there's some flowers. Maybe there's something that's going to distract you from the current argument, from the current hurt, from the current injury that the narcissist has given you. A lot of future faking, happens right after arguments. A lot of future faking or love bombing happens right after big disagreements, big arguments, big things where you tip your hand and you say, hey, if this doesn't change, I'm probably gonna leave. Oh, let me go ahead and love bomb. Let me go ahead and future fake. Let me go ahead and isolate as just as a backdoor plan. Let me work on that so I can control that person. I can control the outcome and I can keep them a little bit longer. It's what a narcissist is looking at. It's what a narcissist is thinking a lot of times. They'll pull out the love bombing card. They'll pull out the future faking card in the middle of the relationship at random times when the heat's on, when the, when the look is on them, when the microscope is on them about what they're doing, about their actions. When you start to suspect that they're cheating and you start to bring it up subtly and they start to realize, hey, this person might think that I'm cheating. I actually am, but let me go ahead and love bomb them so they think I'm madly in love with them so they won't notice my absence. So they won't notice that I'm texting another person. A lot of love bombing, a lot of future faking happens inside the relationship it's just in very small doses to get over an uncomfortable situation or to get over the aspect of vulnerability that's happening with the narcissist being held accountable if this is something that's happening to you you might be dealing with a toxic person you might be dealing with someone who has narcissistic traits if that's you and you want to talk about it, we'd love to talk about it to be able to help you understand maybe what you're going through, maybe your perspective, maybe just shed some light on an aspect that you're not thinking of. If that's you, go to my website, rawmotivations.com, click on one-on-one -on -one coaching. We'd love to be able to talk to you. Just grab a time there. We can talk, okay? Um, if you're on this, go ahead and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, download the NARC app, Narcissistic Abuse Recovery Community, see what the people that are on there that are trying to find healing, growth, and change on, on that platform, or listen on Apple, Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Cannot talk for the last little bit, but that's the spiel. Thank you guys so much. See, can't talk. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Talk to y'all later.